guys, Bill back at you again with another video. This is going to be a tutorial of what I feed my auto flowers. Um, sometimes I'll mix it up. I'll use uh, a maxi bloom uh, flower nutrient. Uh, sometimes I'll use a pro mix uh, bloom nutrient. But uh, that's pretty much all I use for my auto flowers. I don't use any veg uh, nutrients uh, with super high nitrogen and low uh, PK. I just use basically a flower nutrient from start to finish. So anyway, I'm just going to put you on the tripod and get at it and I'll show you how I do mine. Um, there's many people that do it differently, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of people that want to go and spend tons of money and use part A and part B with part C and then throw in this and this and this and then after that's done you get to a certain stage you got to continue to use this but lower the amount and put in this much of this stuff I'm not all about that uh, I'm just I just want to do it as simply as possible and effective as possible and I find this works for me so uh, you can try it for yourself if you like if not if you want to stick to your your uh, your own schedule feeding schedule then that's that's perfectly great whatever works for you so uh, this is just for uh, some people have been asking me how I do me um, and that's what this is so anyway I'll put you on the tripod and, and talk you through it okay so here's pretty much everything I need whenever I whenever I feed my autos um, and it will not change from start to finish so that's one big thing I like is I never have to worry about when to switch up from from veg newts to bloom newts to bloom boosters, uh, anything else. It pretty much stays the same for me, and I find it works really well. Uh, so first off, we got our two-gallon watering can. Um, I have a hose attached, probably a foot and a half long hose, and that's just so I can get to the uh, get to the surface of the soil. I can get closer to it so I'm not disturbing the top of the soil as much as if I'm pouring it from high up, uh, especially if it's a really short, bushy plant. So anyway, I find this works for me. I've already got it filled up with tap water from the sink. Um, I'm on well water and the pH is around 7. So a little bit high where I grow in ProMix HP, uh, it's basically growing hydroponically. Um, so you want your pH at around 5.8 would be perfect so I, I kind of bounce it around I'm not too fussy with it as long as it's within that range it can be one day it might be 5.6 the next day it might be 6.2 6.4 I I'm not really too worried about it um, as long as it's within that range so anyway I'll show you what I do um, first off for the pH being so high, now normally you will want to wait till you put your nutrients in before you pH your solution. Uh, I know what mine's going to be, so I, like I said, I do this pretty much every time the same way. So uh, what I use, and this might shock a few of you, uh, cleaning vinegar, double strength 10% cleaning vinegar. Uh, be very careful if you want to go this route, be very careful with what you buy. This brand, uh, Natura, is strictly the acid and water. That's it. There's no soaps. There's no, I mean, you have to be, with cleaning vinegars, you have to be careful that they don't add other ingredients in there for the cleaning purpose. Uh, this is strictly double strength vinegar. So, not for consumption, by the way. So anyway, this is what I use. Uh, I find it works well. And the thing with vinegar is it will not hold pH for a long amount of time. It will drop it, but then it will gradually raise itself back up. Now, I water every day. I drain to waste. So when I water every day, I water enough that a little bit of it will run out through the bottom. And then I'll vacuum that up. So by doing that, you're getting rid of what's left in your soil that your plant hasn't used already, and you're replacing it with a fresh batch. So even if the uh, the pH does raise a little bit, start to raise a little bit, it's only for a day, and then it's getting. Then I'm gonna put another batch back in, 
and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to push that other stuff out the bottom, get rid of that, vacuum that away. So it's always, every day, it's getting a fresh batch of around 5.86 pH solution. So, okay, so uh, with the double strength cleaning vinegar, 10%, I just use a squirt bottle here. And I add about that much. Uh, I'm going to say probably a tablespoon and a half give or take again I don't really worry about too much if it's a little bit high a little bit low it, I know it's going to be in that range when I'm done um, so next thing I will add is not Royal Reserve Canadian whiskey it's just a bottle that I've been using for my homemade Calmix uh, Calmeg that um, I have a video on that if you want to check it out how to make that so uh, basically eggshells and vinegar let it set and that's pretty much it so this here I'll again I'll put in a tablespoon I uh, don't measure it out normally just a tablespoon tablespoon and a half maybe two some days is whatever you know I might get a involuntary cramp in my arm when I'm doing it put a little bit more a little bit less it is what it is it's getting a new batch every day so it's going to use what it needs out of it and the rest of it's going to be flushed out anyway so again this way when you're doing it this way you don't have to be super concise with it uh, so now for the nutrients for this video I'm going to be using the uh, general hydroponic maxi bloom uh, NBK is 5 15 14 um, it also has calcium and magnesium in it I just add my, the extra just in case, just in case, because uh, in soil this would probably be fine. You probably wouldn't have to add any anyway. Um, it it would have enough, I'm sure. Plus, I'm on well water, which has some calcium in it and magnesium anyway. But uh, growing in Promix HP, there is no nutrients in it. It's it's pretty inert, and they tend to like extra calcium and magnesium. So I just add the extra. But this also has it in it. Uh, 5% nitrogen, 15% phosphates, and 14% potash. So it also has sulfur and iron in it. Um, doesn't have any of your macronutrients, but I haven't found that to be too much of an issue, and it works for me. Um, I've pulled off, you know, one pound auto flowers using this method, so I can say it works for me. So, and my average is probably between seven and eight ounces per plant on the norm so anyway so basically i just follow the instructions on there it's uh, one to two teaspoons per gallon of fresh water i have two gallons of fresh water here uh, comes with a little scoop and it's a tablespoon the big big side is a tablespoon and that's all i use a little bit of a rounded tablespoon for two gallons of well water already ph well water so that's pretty much it uh, very simple like I said I do this for every day no matter what stage the plants in um, and then I just give it a good stir now this is made for hydroponic a general hydroponic so it is water soluble, doesn't take too long. Um, some of the pro mix nutrients that I use, uh, they sometimes if you get a little water in the container itself, it'll uh, turn the nutrients into a sludge and sometimes that takes a little bit to, to uh, absorb into the water. Okay, so stir it up a bit. And that's pretty much it obviously I usually do this at the sink so I can rinse off my spoon when I'm done but we'll do that after okay so that's pretty much it my mixture is ready to go um, so I start feeding probably at uh, three weeks two to three weeks depending on the size of the plant uh, the autoflower and I feed them right up to about a week before harvest 
Um, I don't I don't really worry about flushing a super whole lot because by doing drain to waste you're flushing it every day anyway um, I do usually like to leave a few days to a week at the end where I just feed it plain water and then vacuum out the drain or the waste that's drained off so uh, but basically by doing this method you're flushing every day so uh, anyway that's it uh, now I'm gonna feed my auto flowers and get the vacuum out and suck the trays dry and we'll do it all again tomorrow also whatever's left I'll probably only use half of this for my auto flowers I still have my Bubba's gift in the tent it's during its dark cycle right now so when she wakes up I'll probably feed her whatever's left of it and that'll be her food also so like I said very simple um, I don't want to I don't want to do jumping jacks and and 10 sheets of math every time I want to water water and feed my plants so anyway that's how I do it uh, feel free to try it out uh, maxi bloom it's not super expensive uh, vinegar cheap calum egg cheap when you make it by yourself and uh, so that's pretty much it all right guys uh, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or uh, questions on this technique or this uh, this formula and uh, I know this isn't gonna be for everybody I don't intend it to be I don't claim that it is the the best way to do it uh, I claim that it works for me and that's that's all I know so anyway guys thanks for watching uh, like share and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more leave a comment below I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you on the next one happy growing